it's great to have a uh, Tulsi Gabbard, especially today. A big announcement from uh, Tulsi on leaving the Democrat Party. She launched a new podcast as well to kind of walk people through this. So, Tulsi, I appreciate you joining us today on a big day for you and it's exciting news. I retweeted it right when I was up this morning uh, here on the, the eastern side of the country. Uh, my first question to you, and I'm going to go to my dad, but my first question to you, uh, you talk about the cowardly wokeness. And I talk to folks, you know, all the time in the corporate world, and it's like every day tiptoeing around every issue because you don't even know what's coming the next day where you've got to change your entire the way of thought, your entire the language you use, the words you use, and or suddenly you're on the outside looking in. Yeah, you know that that's exactly right. And and what is that? What does that really point to? It points to uh, the fundamental problem with today's Democratic Party, which is they're opposed to freedom. Uh, they don't support freedom of thought. They don't support, you know, critical thinking. They don't support freedom of speech. Uh, and and given these are the principles that make up the foundation of our country and our constitution, and they're diametrically opposed to them and actively seeking to undermine those freedoms, religious liberty being one of them, uh, this is the problem. And this is why so many people are walking around on eggshells, because it's not enough that they're attacking our right to free speech, our freedom of religion. If anyone dares to step outside the line, if everyone and if anyone even dares to question their logic or their narrative or their argument, they are immediately attacked and smeared. In some cases, their livelihoods are threatened, their ability to support themselves and their families. Uh, it, it is antithetical to who we are as Americans and the vision that our founders had for this country and and therefore poses a direct danger and threat to our democracy. Dad, go ahead. Absolutely. So Tulsi, um, I said earlier in the broadcast uh, when I was on just with Jordan that I've known you and your family for, my goodness, a long time. I mean, many decades. And this is a, a very appropriate time to say something to you that I only think I've shared with you before, but when we, we were covering the debates, we all said on air that um, in the Democratic debates that you were you were really taking it. Uh, you were really doing a great job. And when we asked people, who were they going to vote? If they weren't voting for Donald Trump, who would be their favorite candidate? You'd think they would pick one of the you know 20 Republicans that were running, and everybody was saying Tulsi Gabbard. So this, you know, Tom, you always kind of have, have, have been outside of what I would call you know, party speak and uh, really yes. speaking your mind and which is great. So, but leaving the party that and leaving the apparatus is a big decision. And, and just for a moment, I think it would be great to share with our audience around the country and around the world that are listening on our social media platforms. Um, what was the, what was the process like? Because this was obviously a big decision. You ran for president in the democratic party just a few years ago, and now you're leaving that party. Yeah, you're you're exactly right, Jay, and I appreciate being able to to be here and to talk with you guys this morning. Uh, you know, frankly, because of the work that you've dedicated your life, to, you've dedicated your life to defending freedom uh, in, in a lot of different circumstances, and that's really what this decision came down to: is that uh, today's Democratic Party is is controlled by you know the these woke war mongering elites who hate freedom whether we're talking about freedom of speech, freedom uh, of religion, they have no respect for our civil liberties. They don't, they don't recognize that there is such a thing as truth. And so when you look at all of these things put together, uh, you can see how insane today's Democratic Party has become. Uh, I think there are a lot of folks, a lot of Democrats across the country who have been increasingly concerned over time as I have been about the direction that they're taking this country in and are wondering, hey, what, what can I do to try to be a part of the solution, which is why I issued that call to action. Join me, leave this insane, woke, crazy and dangerous Democratic Party and let's take a stand uh, to put country first, uh, fight for freedom, fight for uh, our fellow Americans, God-given rights that are enshrined in our constitution that they seek to try to take away. You know, you, you've you experienced that demonization or attempt to demonize. And I always want to remind people, not only you're outspoken and clear with your views and not afraid of these party apparatuses, but you, you serve our country to this day. And when, when these, these accusations that get thrown, you know, we've, we all see it. We've, it's online, but, but you're still willing to take that stand. 
I mean, how much of it, because I was probably on the other side of the aisle, spent most of my life working the Republican Party. And, uh, you know, you do get to points where you think, okay, is this still where I belong? And so you you went through that that process, and what what is it like? What are your your former constituents? What are you what are you hearing for them? Is are, are more of them feeling that way as well? Like a, taking that in, maybe an independent route, not necessarily running to join another party, but say you know what, let's take a step back and talk through the issues. You know, Jordan, I've always been uh, I've always been an independent minded person. So even as I joined the Democratic Party twenty years ago, uh, and throughout the time that I've served. Uh, in various public offices from city council to state house to Congress and then running for president, I have maintained that independent mind. I've been an independent Democrat. And so, uh, you know, whether it's people who I had the privilege of serving here in Hawaii, colleagues in Congress, people who actually know me uh, understand that that my loyalty is to our country and the Constitution, as it always has been. And so taking this step really is a recognition, again, of what is most important to me in my life. I love our country, and I, I have dedicated my entire adult life to serving our country and to, to defending those freedoms, whether it's in uniform or in public office. And, and this, is, uh, this is fulfilling, continuing to fulfill uh, my commitment to do that. And, and like I said, I think there are a lot of folks, whether it's uh, people here in Hawaii or people who I've worked with or I've heard from uh, across the country, who share these concerns, but like you said, are too afraid to say anything, which is so sad when you think about it, that here we are in the United States of America that's supposed to be this beacon of freedom for the country or for the world, and yet Americans are afraid to voice their opinions or to think independently outside of one party line or another. That is what has to change. And I hope that people who are seeing my my uh, what I'm doing and listening to what I'm saying will feel emboldened and inspired to take that stand themselves. Let's talk about your podcast, because this is obviously a new venture and something we're really excited about and happy that uh, to promote. And we think getting your voice, having your voice out in that venue, uh, in that uh, platform, the podcast platform, is a great idea. Uh, so I want to start with that. That launches. Tell us a little bit about that, and then I'm going to ask you a political question. Yeah, sure, Jay. Uh, I, I've been wanting to put put together a, a podcast and online show for a long time, uh, really because um, the limitations of the mainstream media are real. Uh, the demonization thing is real. Their ability to control a narrative is real. So even on a good day, if you go on live television, you're lucky you get four and a half minutes to make your point about like the greatest threat to democracy that we face. Like, my gosh, how do you talk about that in four minutes? And so being able to uh, to have my own show uh, where there's no time limits, there's no corporate boss telling me what I can and can't say, uh, it really provides that opportunity to, to share my thoughts and views, uh, to go in depth on different issues and challenges we face, and to have really interesting conversations with people uh, about those. And I'm grateful to you, Jay. We recorded uh, an, an incredible conversation about religious liberty and freedom that I'm, I'm excited to share uh, with our listeners and our viewers for the Tulsi Gabbard Show, uh, which is on YouTube, Rumble, and on all uh, audio podcast platforms. Yeah, that's gonna be great. P political question. There is a, we've got a situation in uh, Eastern Europe that is a war, uh, un unfortunately. Uh, the United States policy is very hard to define. Uh, we've got an economy that's teetering right now, and then you look at the oil and gas situation and energy costs uh, are exorbitant, as are food costs. All of these issues are happening, and some would say, well, you, you, you've left the political process, but the truth is your, your voice will be much more amplified outside. But how, what kind of point are we at in, in America right now as you see it, as you launch your podcast, as you leave the Democratic Party? Where do you see the country? Because I know for you that's first, the country. It is. It is. And and regardless of uh, whether people identify as a Democrat or Republican, independent, libertarian, whatever it is, the reality is there are a lot of Americans across the country who are struggling for all of the reasons that you're talking about, whether it's in, in inflation or, uh, you know, rising gas prices, all of these different things. It comes down to a failure of leadership, a failure of leadership. That That is what we see when we look at the White House and in Washington is selfish politicians who care more for their own power or winning the next race than they do about actually fighting for peace, 
fighting for prosperity for the American people and upholding and protecting our freedoms. We can change that. We've got to cast our votes in the coming election and make sure our voice is heard and vote for the right people who will fight for us and for the Constitution. Folks, you can learn about everything that Tulsi's doing. It's TulsiGabbard.com. So the podcast, Substack, again, it's all available there. So again, I encourage everybody to go there and to share with your friends and families. Talking about this with my brother earlier is that Tulsi's able to reach people that we're not able to reach and, and talk about these issues directly. So go to TulsiGabbard.com. We appreciate Tulsi joining us on this such a, a big news day uh, for her, a big decision to leave the party.